Hello assalamu alaikum in this video we will understand about the atopic dermatitis it is known as the eczema common chronic inflammatory skin disease we will understand in this video the whole story so it is uh, create the intense itching and damage the skin upper layer the epidermis the recurrent eczematous lesion and the functioning course so strongly heritability component and the co occur with other atopic disease such as asthma and allergic rhinitis let's understand about the skin anatomy this is the skin which starts contain a different layer the upper layer is the epidermis which that contain that keratinocyte which that fill with the keratin uh, melanin protein and keratin so melanin pigment so here is the dermis epidermis and this is a subcutaneous tissue hypodermis contain fat collagen and fibroblast cell this fibroblast cell will convert into the collagen formation and the um basically here is a general overview and this is a nerve ending sensory nerve for sensation of pain and the touch pressure this is the sweat gland and this is the hair follicle this uh, blood supply remember to the skin the barrier dysfunction this is the barrier immunity is the epidermis which that not allow the bacteria invasion the inherited and environmental factor will lead to disturb this barrier immunity this barrier dysfunction and the microbiome will invade the pathogenic this is a mast cell fibroblast and the arteriole which that contain a innate immune cell this is the capillary and the uh, impairment of epidermal barrier function uh basically will lead to deficiency of the structural protein filaggrin this filaggrin is the protein which that will not function properly will lead to cause eczema can promote inflammation and t cell infiltration t cell is the part of innate immune system we will discuss also because the uh, innate uh, sorry adaptive immune cell so the innate immune system will Uh, activate the adaptive immune system filaggrin gene is a barrier homeostasis important and homozygous suppressive allele will lead to filaggrin metabolism will disrupt but the normally filaggrin metabolism we will discuss here this will lead to keratinocyte uh, cytoskeleton modeling will occur due to the filaggrin protein but also the filaggrin will lead to metabolite to produce lactic acid amino acid urea inorganic salt sugar and the carboxylic acid and uro uroanic acid which that will lead to cause the natural moisturizing factor this is the natural moisturizing factor will lead to moist the skin and homeostasis in the 5.5 ph but when this deficiency due to the filaggrin uh, protein mutation lead to decrease of this content lead to xerosis the dryness of the skin in atopic dermatitis it will lead to this dry uh, will lead to cause ichthyosis vulgaris this is a heterozygous inherited gene which there will lead to um, basically uh, not uh, separate the uh, dead skin with the uh, new skin so in this way it will lead to ichthyosis the scaly skin let's understand about the overview of the pathophysiology of the dermatitis eczema this epidermis when disturbed the microbiome changes will lead to defense mechanism increase and in this way the skin will not protect as a barrier to produce pro inflammatory cytokines protect underlying dermis will lead to um lead to epidermal restoration and for the giving the time for the epidermal restoration 
an invasion of the allergen will lead to inflammation and in this way the allergen will trigger the T helper to cell a mast cell an eosinophil basically these three type of cell will activate innate and adaptive cell this will lead to basically uh, uh, cytokine production and inflammation will trigger this invasion of allergen will lead to trigger the defense mechanism more and this is the positive feedback this positive feedback will lead to cause itching and chronic inflammation and chronic atopic dermatitis dermatitis is the inflammation of the skin the risk of the atopic dermatitis or eczema is retard retardation of growth due to the suppression of the growth hormone and the t uh, helper one cytokine decrease to cause infection and beta defensing protein will decrease and the eczema um, herpeticum uh, will uh, occur and the basically the pruritus, uh, pruritus cause sleep problem and depression anxiety the causes of these eczema fungal attack bacteria viral injury a use antibacterial soap products and allergens in the environmental influence the treatment of this by use lotion anti fungal lotion and quit smoking and quit drug and quit quit cosmetics which that is rinsing the microbiome uh, in our skin so the skin contain microbiome let's understand about the whole detail of the atopic dermatitis so in this way here is you can see this is the dermatitis atopic it means the region wise of the body this is the epidermis i am drawing here and this epidermis contain dead cell this dead cell is a keratinocyte filled with the keratin protein and this is the nervous system remember and this is the below the epidermis is the dermis we will understand about the dermis because the dermis contain uh, uh, immune cell so this is the nerve sensory nerve fiber c and whenever when you will uh, feel the scratching and itching will occur will lead to scratching and let's understand about the mechanism of the itching and scratching creation so this is uh, the dendritic cell when the allergen will intact or other uh, allergic factors intact will lead to produce the tslp this thymic stromal lymphopoietin will uh, increase and in this way the bacteria invasion can be possible due to the uh, damage of the skin and in this way here you can see the uh, sensory new, neuron fiber c which that will detect and this tslp will be intact with this neuron and will lead to give the signal to the uh, ascending neuron for itching to target to the higher brain cortex to detect the area for scratching and in this way when target we will scratch and this scratching is known as the itching cycle and this epidermal barrier dysfunction will lead to itching scratch cycle by tlsp but other factor is like cytokines histamine and leukotriene we will discuss also this epidermal barrier dysfunction will lead to itching and scratch cycle will occur in this way the antifungal and and, uh, and uh, basically this uh, antigen for our body which that will lead to antibacterial or antifungal uh, lotion or other uh, atopic uh, lotion which that we can apply to cover this infection progression but in this way here is the t helper type 2 cell which that will trigger via a tslp also and in this way the thymic stromal lymphopoietin will trigger the T helper 2 cell, will produce the interleukin 5, 13, and 31 and 4. But I am missing in this 
uh, diagram in illustration so the cytokines and histamine and leukotriene will produce from the t helper to uh, sorry from mast mast cell but we will discuss first the t helper 2 cell will basically uh, trigger the eosinophil recruitment and this eosinophil recruitment will lead to inflammation via a response and in this the keratinocytes on scratching will produce the cytokine uh, also will lead to positive feedback and in this way the inflammation of the epidermis will occur this eosinophil will involve but the neutrophil not involved in the study show the mast cell will activate due to the allergen in the presence of the immunoglobulin e due to the allergic reaction the allergic response from the b cell b memory cell will intact with the fc portion of the fc receptor of the mast cell lead to degranulation of the mast cell this is the inflammation and this is the basically uh, hypersensitivity activation will lead to cytokines histamine and leukotriene will produce lead to cause inflammation and the antihistamine will inhibit this reaction and this production of the histamine from the mast cell while the methotrexate is used for the cytokines inhibitor and in this the interleukin 5 4 and 13 will inhibit will lead to cure the atopic dermatitis as a eczema I hope you make sense about this eczema and atopic dermatitis. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video for this time. Bye.